What's up YouTube? It's your boy Dark Light coming to you with another video. And today we're going to do a little bit of a trailer breakdown of The Last of Us Part 2. I will see y'all in a minute. <laughs> guys we're back hope that intro was a little bit interesting um well today um and we all know the trailer for the last of us part two has dropped what four or five days ago it's almost been a week since it's been out when i watched it the first time it was majority of me just reacting to it it was no actual discussion of it or nothing um, but since it dropped, I've probably watched, watched it probably over a whole, a hundred times so already, because I am so anxious and so ready for this game to come out. And I'm, I think I'm putting too much of a hype on it because, you know, usually the second is not as good as the first, but it could prove me wrong. Uh, but yeah, today I wanted to do something different, new to the channel, to my channel. Uh, I wanted to do a pretty much a breakdown of this of the trailer. Um, I mean, there was so many. Well, it's not a breakdown. It's more of a. There's some things I want to talk about and get off my chest a little bit. And, you know, some ideas I've thought of of what this game possibly could be. Uh, there's some things that I want to talk about on Ellie and Joel, and for that matter. Even when it goes back to the old E3 what, last year or two years ago when it dropped, the other trailers. There are some things I want to try to get into with this one. Uh, so y'all kind of bear with me here. This is my first little breakdown trailer along with discussion. Um, yeah, so y'all would have to kind of, so this is going to be a long video. I'm going to tell you that now. So let's get right into it. Well, the first thing I want to talk about will be Joe. He was the first, he was the last thing in the trailer. So I'm going to, he's going to be the first thing I talk about. Um, I watch, there's so many speculations on Joe right now. Is he dead? Is he just an image in Joe, in Ellie's mind or what? Is he alive? Is he's going to be our companion? There's so much going on with that. Um, but before I get into a further, further into it, if I was Sony and Naughty Dog, I would have had all y'all. I would have never showed Joe probably until the the game comes out in February. I would have had it. I mean, people probably it probably would have leaked that Joe's alive. Either way it go, within these next several months, but I would have probably kept kept him somewhere in the background. I kept him away from everybody seeing because every every trailer reaction that I have seen, they were worried. They will everybody was happy with seeing Ellie, but they was really really wanted to see Joel. People were clapping their hands, cheering and crying. I I would have waited with the speculation of him being dead in this game. I would have showed it last, just to be just to be on the funny side, just just to see everybody's reaction, because you know everybody was wanting to joke. Even me, I was like, okay, is he gonna be alive or is he gonna be dead? And that's my little speculation. Uh, but let me go ahead and get into it. seeing the end of this trailer with Joel. He looks more like. He's emotionally and physically stressed out. Stressed. 
he looks tired. Like, I know this is probably five years later. After Ellis should be, what, 18, 19 now? So five years later, compared to, you know, he looks like he's been through a lot. Maybe he still had an effect that he hasn't told. Or maybe he's been beating himself up because he hasn't told Ellie the truth about the Fireflies. The reason why he saved, he took her. Which you can look at that as two different ways. As him being, you can look at him as being a villain in that situation. In the Last of Us part or at the end. Spoilers. The end of the first game. Who knows? Has he been going out on search missions or whatever by himself? And has all this killing and all of that. Has he? Don't know. But he looks tired. He looks worn out. Um, now, let me go on into it. Uh, this little area here, as you can see, probably from the beginning of this trailer, this is this possibly looks like uh, Tommy's little safe haven he was building. You know, in the in the first game, he was trying to build. He was at a uh, a plant trying to get the in the mains turbines and stuff running again so people can have power. It looks like him and his wife finally created a nice safe haven for people to come in and live a normal life in an in 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 infected world. In a where there's nothing but creatures around. So that's pretty cool in the last five years how much they was able to to actually get done. It really is. They have a big walls as if it's attack on Titan time situation. They only go out when they probably need food or need materials or and you know it's winter time, so the harshness of winter. But I do like that they actually, too, for another thing, they're going to probably go from winter to probably summer, maybe, to the fall. It's probably just going to backtrack. You know, they took us from, I think it was like a fall situation, spring or whatever, and all the way to summer and all. I'm glad that they're going to still probably end up doing that again, go through the different times of the year. Um... Another thing, as y'all can see from this video, well, I'm just going to pop it in as a picture. Um, Ellie has on a mask. Is Ellie keeping her immunity, still keeping her immunity as a secret? I guess it, she probably is because um, there's the only few people that know is Joe, herself, and Tommy. Don't know, wouldn't know who else would be that fact, would be in that fact, knows her secret. Um, that's just, now, that's just a random thought because I'm sitting here watching. I mean, I've probably, it's probably 100% true that she ain't, that nobody knows because. Uh, why would they? They would probably look at her and figure out, like, have so many questions, like, why she's not trying to help find a cure to end this madness or whatever, this kill this virus. So, I don't know. So, that's just a random thought. Uh, this gameplay looks awesome. It looks really, really good. And I know this is probably not even the final touch-up on it. And... I know this little, this trying to get this game download the PS4 or PS5 or whatever. This game is going to be like a, y'all, I'm telling y'all now. If y'all play Red Dead Redemption 2, y'all better go ahead and finish it and wipe it off y'all PlayStation. Because I guarantee you, this game is going to probably be like a hundred some gigabytes to download. 
Because I've heard that it's supposed to be a two this. If it's two this, yeah, that's going to be a lot to download. The graphics, the design, everything looks so beautiful. Everything. That I guess it's going to take a lot of gigabytes at your PlayStation. So if y'all don't have an external hard drive or whatever, I guarantee y'all going to need them. I'm sorry. Y'all going to need it because it's going to take a lot. So like I got mine ready. I'm just waiting for the game to drop. <laughs> but yeah, this game is very aggressive and violent. There are some new creatures in here that I've seen. Uh, one was charging through the wall, and another one just pretty much cre creeping, looking like the bloaters. Which I don't think they are. Uh, they're probably in in in, in, in uh, boy, I can't talk. It's probably a more evolved version of the bloaters. Five years later, they probably evolved into bruisers or and. Whatever, it's they gonna be called something totally different. Um, but they still look like bloaters. Big, dumb, and slow. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Um, but looks pretty awesome. I love that they're actually throwing in dogs. I actually want to know what other mutated creatures would be out there. Because... Come on, because the first one didn't show too many, but he infected bloaters and the clickers. Oh, I can't believe I left them out, but yeah, they didn't show no more than just probably those three kinds of infected. It's like it's a starting off moment. Now it's getting more into the deaths of five years later, or how these creatures have evolved and all that, you know. I mean, everybody, we all, y'all probably have the same thought, so I just want to throw that out there. Now, let's talk about how Ellie and probably what's going to be the driven part of this game. Um, I'm watching, this whole trailer has showed that pretty much Ellie is going on a rampage. She's going on. She's trying to get her revenge. I don't think this whole game is going to be about her getting revenge. Because that's pretty much like a. Uh, one tone kind of thing. Or one step. That's it. Because. That's, that would probably get old. By her just. Wanting revenge. Unless. There's things happening in between where she's starting to get more and more pissed off. And it's causing her pain and problem because she's she's losing a lot. She just lost her girlfriend. Um then cause think about it, she's she's holding in a lot from her child, her teenage years to to now. As we've seen in the first Last of Us. I'm sorry about your daughter, Joel, but I have lost people too. You have no idea what loss is. Everyone I have cared for has either died or left me. Everyone fucking except for you. So don't tell me that I would be safer with someone else because the truth is I would just be more scared. As y'all can see from that video, she's been holding a lot in. So now she's holding that maybe the fireflies are keeping secrets. She could have been a cure. She don't know. She figured, she's figuring Joel is not telling the truth. Uh, there's a lot with, with going on with her. So that, like I said, that's a drive, another drive motivation for her to get revenge. But I don't think this whole game is going to be based off just strictly revenge. Uh, maybe, I believe, in this game, Ellie has lost her sanity. She's insane now. Because 
truth be told, if Joe is alive in this game, how do we know Ellie won't be the one to kill him? Because as we have, have, I don't watch so many movies. How do we know Ellie wants, don't go on a strange, on, on this, goes on this journey of nothing but revenge and Joe gets caught in the crossfire. Even though he's our companion in the game, how do we know she won't be the one to kill him? When she's pushed to the, to the, she's already pushed to the edge, and probably so close to falling off the, off the head, off of it. That how do we know once she finds out the truth from from uh Joe or finds out the truth about the fireflies, she just won't make an attempt to kill Joe. Possibility. Because there's, I mean, there's so many th things going on, and there's gonna probably be going on in this game. Uh, cause I this whole trailer, I believe, is probably within the first hour, maybe hour and thirty minutes of the game. They probably just gonna give you a little insight of what a uh, long cinematic, uh, nice little video of. What she's probably been going through all this time, how much peace she's in, how much of peace she's in, you know, no problems. They got the safe haven built. Everything she's living in the world of peace for now. That's when she's gonna probably this like I said, this whole trailer is basically probably gonna be within the first hour and first hour, thirty minutes of the game. Now, for us, those creatures and all that's probably going to be later on. But I believe this whole trailer, but it's a possibility that it can be at the beginning. But I believe this whole trailer is going to be strictly an hour and 30 minutes, the beginning of the game. Because you're going to have to start it off just like the first one of we learn what Joel is and how he lost his daughter. Of who he became, but that took twenty years later after the fact. With this, I think it's just gonna go strictly from her losing somebody, and it's just gonna go straight through. But yes, I believe in this. We're gonna lose Joe, and that's gonna be heartbreaking for the for all of us, because I have a feeling for us to be more in sync. It's gonna either be Ellie killing him from finding out the truth. Or he gets caught up in the revenge aspect of it. Because there's always, when you, there's, like I said, there's movies in that I have seen where people always go out for revenge. Somebody gets caught in the crossfire. And it's always somebody that they, they love. Now, will she then find out the truth? If he gets caught, if he gets shot by somebody or whatever he's so close to death that he finally tells her the truth and that's when she finally decides to continue to go on a rampage killing everybody um and so yeah i i believe joe's gonna die in this um now who is she going to kill uh a lot of people have speculated that it was there are, that there are firefly shit kids she's killing. Possibility. There are bandits. Other cults out there that she's killing. Possi another possibility. I don't know. That's one thing I wouldn't know. But as many times I've watched this trailer, um, I believe she's not killing the fireflies until later on in the game because the reason why we've known in the first in the last game this little safe haven safe haven that Tom is trying to build there's always bandits and infected coming through so if there's bandits it wouldn't be fireflies 
Because that means Tommy sure would have known if he saw chains or anything symbolizing the Firefly. Or just maybe she starts off killing bandits and it somehow it moves on into the Fireflies when she comes comes across them trying to help her or something. But I believe we might lose both. Then again, we might lose both characters in this. Both Ellie and Joe toward the end of this game. Possibility. But no, I believe it's just going to be mostly Joe. And now that everybody also has been speculating that uh, Ellie's mom is going to be in this game. Maybe. Maybe Ellie, Ellie comes across somebody that know who she is and took her away. It's possibility. And what I mean by that is mom's pregnant in this world. She can't, so she has to literally, once she's born, once her daughter's born, she has to send her away because it's too gruesome. And it gets to a point, somebody takes her to a nice little safe haven. As a child, as an unborn child, and that's why uh, Mrs. the Queen Firefly knows more about her mom. Maybe they were friends at a point we might get a backstory on Queen Firefly. Possibility. Even though she's dead, so you're not gonna see much of her. Um so let me see what else I got some notes here. Um But yeah, I I'm probably fresh out right now. Cause I think I've covered everything I needed to cover. Um, but yeah, this game, there's so much, but I don't think this whole game is driven by a revenge because in the gameplay that they have showed, they never show Joe a part of it. Like I said, this could be just the beginning of it before Joe even decides to join her, but somewhere down the line, I think we're going to lose Joe. Uh, I believe... Ellie has went to the brink of insanity. She's on that edge before somebody or something pulls her back. And now she feels like she's probably going to kill these people to protect the home that she has and use herself as a sacrifice or something. Somewhere down the line, she's going to she's gonna do, do something stupid to the point where either we're going to look at her as a villain or we're just going to look at her and pity her even more. Like, we can't believe what's going on. I believe. So, there's there's some in between there. Um, um, I think that's it for me, y'all. I think that's it. There's not really much to, to worry about because... But uh, I, I thank Naughty Dolls also, too. I want to thank them. I'm stumbling over my word. But I want to thank Naughty Dogs because in the first game, I wanted to see more creatures. It never brought me down to a level of saying this is a sorry game. I wanted to see more creatures. I wanted to see an, ev an evolved version of bloaters, clickers, you know. You know and they, they brought it. Now, I don't know what else is in this game. So they might have, true, them dogs might change. Because as we see in the trailer, she was attacked by a dog. Who knows, we might get an infected dog. And like some Resident Evil style kind of stuff. Um, I mean, we got, we, there's some stuff way beyond. So, I don't know. Like I said, that's what I call a somewhat trailer breakdown and a discussion. Um... Sorry that this video is so long. Like I said, I have so many thoughts and imaginations for this game of the story, of what the story might continue, what's gonna probably going to happen. And I want to do that probably another couple more times. 
just to see just to see when this game come out how much of I was right and how much I was wrong which most likely I'm probably wrong it's just this most everything is more of my imagination I have y'all can see this size of my head I had a big head with full of number thoughts and imagination and I, I just decided to give it out with a little bit of a rant and let y'all hear it so, but y'all, if y'all like this video, y'all know what to do. Hit that thumbs up. If y'all new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that red button down there. All you gotta do is just tap it. Ding! Uh, y'all wanna talk to me? Y'all can catch me on Twitter or catch me down in the comments. Your choice. Like I said, I'm working on some things. I'm still getting some stuff out. So, this is Dark Light. Coming to you with another lovable, friendly video. So a cheery oh.